In this video, I am going to break down what I believe could be the next chain link, but on the Solana network. Let's dive into it. Here we go. All right, so here you can see this is my Twitter, DeFi, Mike. There's two eyes, if you don't know. And on August 11th, uh, 12, 18 p.m., 2025 to be exact, only 400 views. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I tweeted out Oracle Narrative. Uh-oh. Pyth next? Makes sense to me. Solana needs to be protected. Pyth infrastructure is already there. Now, the reason that I have been watching Pyth is Pyth is the chain link, but on the Solana network. And what Pyth does is what Chainlink does. Now, nobody talks about the Pyth network, and until, okay, a couple weeks later, this is uh, recent news, uh, Commerce Secretary Howard Lutnick says that U.S. will publish GDP, gross domestic product data, on blockchain. We talk about a transparent world. Okay, here we go. Commerce plans transparent, tamper-resistant data distribution via blockchain. And then they go on to list a bunch of different blockchains. But let's actually read this real quick because this is actually big. He said the plan will begin with GDP data, but it is intended to expand additional government agencies. The Department of Commerce is going to start issuing its statistics on blockchain because, you know, he talks about Trump being a crypto president. The plan focuses on releasing GDP figures on chain to enable people to use blockchain for data distribution. So, in crypto, we talk about data distribution. Um, you know, we use this term called an oracle. And the biggest oracle that's been here since almost day one of crypto, 2017, one of the first cryptos I got into is the master, the Jedi, Chainlink. Chainlink operates all of DeFi, right? Chainlink moves data from point A to point B in a secure way. People that contribute get paid out in Chainlink. The tokenomics are beautiful. Today, currently sitting at $23, 15 billion market cap, only a uh, billion tokens. All-time high is at 52. I think this surpasses uh, this severely on this run. You can see Chainlink over here is involved with everything. Every bank, all the institutions, I believe there will be spot Chainlink ETFs in the near future. Now, the whole game in investing is Try to park your money in places that other people are not. And then when the money shows up, your money goes higher, right? Take a look at this. According to DeFiLama.com forward slash oracles, these are the top five oracles. Now we look over here. These are the protocols. These are the chains that they're on. Okay. Uh, chain links on about 15, 20 chains. You have Chronicle, Redstone, Internal. But what I'm going to share with you in this video is a sleeper called Pyth Network. Chainlink secures 460 protocols. Pyth secures 289. Chainlink does about 60 volume, okay, TVS. Uh, Pyth is at 6 billion, you know, and, and yes, I know it's a little bit lower than these other ones, but do you believe Solana is going to be here in five years? If so, you need to pay attention to Pyth Network currently trading today at 16 cents. I don't know if this is going to, you know, do 100x. I'm not saying it is, but right now it's not even in the top 100. And if Solana is going to be here, I think Pyth is. Now, here's why. We go to Pyth.network. We can see it moves data, okay? It confirms price feeds. It confirms uh, numbers, right? So let's look at this, the price of everything. Let's just go down here and look at all their publishers, okay? Winter Mute's on here. All the price feeds, so all the price feeds for all the derivatives platforms on Solana, including things like Jupiter, are using the Pyth network. We can see it's securing 1,600 price feeds, only growing, publishers growing on 105 different blockchains. And here's the most important thing to me. Look at the ecosystem. Okay, these are all the blockchain that are using Pyth. These are all the publishers and different cryptocurrency uh, projects. Look at all of the derivatives platforms pulling data from the Pyth network. And what Howard Lutnick said here is they're going to publish data on blockchain, which means they're going to have to do it on Ethereum, which means they're going to have to use Chainlink. They're going to do it on Solana, which means they're going to have to use Pyth network. Now, this is just bullish to me. Um, on what day was this? On August 25th, all my students you know, received an alert from me that we were buying Pyth Network. And it's so funny because a couple of days later, that news breaks out and Pyth Network literally hits our first exit, does a, let's see, 
does a 124% move in a couple days and then sells right back off. Now, I like this zone. I'm going to give this to you for free because you hopefully are subscribed to my channel. This is the zone that I would be looking to accumulate, um, but we literally crushed that entry right there on Pyth Network. You can see here all of the different platforms that Pyth uh, is using, all the different borrowing and lending platforms, all the different derivatives platforms, uh, payments, stable coins, luxury goods, centralized exchange, all the synthetics platform. I mean, it's just ridiculous how big I think Pyth could get to. The all-time high in market cap was about $2 billion. If you want to compare it to something like Chainlink, all you can do is go to CoinGecko, go to Chainlink, go to market cap. At the peak, this thing had $20 billion in it. So is Pyth going to do a 5 to 10x? You tell me in the comments your thoughts. I think this is a great level here to be paying attention to. Do your own research as always. But I see the utility. I see where... You know, the government wants to go for transparency. Put it on the blockchain. And if Solana is going to be relevant in a year, five years, 10 years, just like Ethereum and Chainlink, I think Solana and Pyth just makes a lot of sense. Let me know in the comments your thoughts.